Whenever you go for a walk outside, we primarily depend on two things, our sense of hearing and our sense of sight. There are 40 million visually impaired people around the world, and most of them can only depend on either getting a guide dog, which are super expensive, or holding somebody's hand that can guide them from one place to another. I wanted to change that. So back in 2010, I started a project called Lechal. Lechal in Hindi means take me there. The idea was to put these four vibrators inside a shoe that can condense the complex geo-navigational information and condense it into a vibration feedback and language of vibrations that can guide you from one place to another. I put this project very casually on the internet. As I was a maker, I was a tinkerer in my lab, and it went super viral. A lot of visually impaired people started writing to me. I got good feedback. This made me quit my job, and eventually I met Crispian. Chris and I took charge, and we said, this has to go to the people that it belongs to, the blind. After four years of research and continuous development in several iterations, this concept, or this scary-looking prototype, converted into a product, an insole that you can insert into a regular shoe that can guide you from one place to another, and also analyze how you walk. This was meant for the blind around the world. I, was wanted, I wanted to continue with my journey of innovation and putting magic into substances and artifacts, and this took me to the MIT Media Lab. Now, I, this used to be my workspace. And when I went to the Media Lab, I felt like a kid in the candy store. I mean, you can replace the word candy here with sensors, robots, and drones flying around. And the moment I went there, I joined the Fluid Interfaces group, and at Fluid, uh, I was working on super futuristic systems, uh, augmented reality with transparent displays. But I realized my heart lies in solving the problems that belong and are local to India. How do you use those technologies that you learned over there and apply to the problems that are very local? So I moved back. The moment I moved back to India, I realized that my frequency of doing laundry has increased several times. The reason, and a lot of bachelors over here would relate to it, is because of the pollution outdoors. The reason why what happens is, most of the pollution contains unburnt carbon. And the unburnt carbon that is in the environment is majorly the carbon black. So I built this little contraption that captures, print, that captures the pollution, segments the carbon black out of it, mixes it with some vodka and some vegetable oil, and converts the pollution into printing ink. And what this does is, you can inject this into a regular printing cartridge and use it for printing, or put it inside your pen and probably write some poetry with it. We are piloting this project right now in Delhi. And the idea is, what if we could build these little harvesters and put them behind the exhaust of our cars and capture the pollution and convert and make some freeing for us as making the environment pollution free? So I went for a drive yesterday. And after 30 minutes of a drive, I could capture this much ink for myself. And this is enough to run your printers for good 15 days. That's the major idea. One major thing is changing in India right now. In the next two years, we'll have two billion smartphones around the country. Probably more people are buying more than one. However, smartphones are limited by what they can do. They're amazing, they're hardware, they're rock solid. However, they're very limited with whatever they have on them, the sensors they have on them, the way they're manufactured. And we wanted to build a capability onto smartphones that how can we take, convert this regular phone into a very advanced sensor. So what I present to you is something called Jack Boy. Our team has been working for the last six months, missing our sleep at the nights, and geeking out in the lab to build this platform that can go inside any smartphone and converts your phone into a very advanced sensing device. Now, I've told you, told you enough about it. I would want to show you how it works. First of all, the design of Jack Boy that I'm showing to you is inspired by the modularity of a regular screwdriver. The same screwdriver in which you can put many screws and use it for multiple tasks, the same way you can use the same guy and insert multiple sensors to it. This is one jack boy, and I have multiple sensors. The, I can just take this one, connect it here, and this phone would become a pollution sensor. I can connect this one 
and I can take medical healthcare to small villages. This becomes my ECG and blood pressure monitoring device. There's this one, I connect this and it becomes my soil sensor and so on. So I just connect the sensor, for example, in this one, I put some water, you can tell I have a love for vodka. So I put some water and I put in the other glass some vodka, connect the Jaguar to the alcohol sensor, probe it over there, and I can sense how much alcohol content is there in the liquid that is in front of me. Now what does that mean? Law enforcement around this country can, give, can let the policemen use their smartphones and, and you know, <laughs> you won't like me to what will happen with this. Yeah. What if you could connect a simple soil sensor to your smartphone and enable every farmer in the country to use the advanced sensing capabilities? Over here, it's some water, and I'm trying, I'm just, I just insert the probe into it, and I get the value of turbidity and pH. It could tell you what fertilizers the soil needs. You just probe into the soil, and it'll tell you what fertilizers are required by the soil. That's the major idea. And now the power of smartphones over here they already have so many sensors on them. They already have a display. We don't need to make repetitive hardware. That's the major concept. Over here, I come back to pollution. I take this pollution sensor, insert it into Jack Boy, and light up a matchstick in this particular example. This could very well be your exhaust of your car or the pol anything that emits pollution. And you can just tell what is the pollution level of environment. So over here, I'm getting the PPM values correlated with the GPS data on the phone. What does that mean? I went for a drive around Bangalore, and this is the data that I captured. This shows the heat map value of how much pollution levels were inside the area that I drove to. The, area, the peaks that you see was where I, my house was located. So I had to change my house. <laughs> That's the idea of giving power of sensing to the smartphones. So we want to make thousands of these right now and take it to the people who haven't been exposed to anything beyond smartphones, the power of sensing. And before I get off the stage, I would like to uh, quote, read a quotation that I read in a fortune cookie a few days ago. If I was given an hour to solve a problem, I would spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and five minutes thinking about the solution. Whatever problems we might have around us, however big they are, if you apply a little bit of technology and science, and if you believe me, the problems, the solutions to those problems might, write, might, might lie right in front of our eyes, like these ones in front of me. Thank you.